And today we're going to talk about the truth about minerals. And if you were, recall from our last lessons, we talked a lot about minerals and how minerals are the spark plugs, if you will, to a whole host of chemical reactions. For example, just take magnesium, which is one of the big macro minerals, what we call macros, it's larger ones that you need a lot of. That's good for about 350 different functions in your body. And interesting enough, a lot of people mistakenly, when they look at calcium, this is probably the one that we hear the most about, you know, drink milk or you got to get your calcium. This is a big part of bones. But what most people don't realize is this here, magnesium is the control. So minerals work in conjunction with each other. I'll give you an example. So when you're taking in minerals, the best way to get minerals, minerals like in the macro size, is usually from whole foods. Lots of fruits and vegetables and things like that. Now, there's another set of minerals which are called trace minerals. Okay? So trace minerals... There's about 80 of them, and they're little minerals, and oftentimes they're overlooked. And unfortunately, most of the science is focused on these big ones, and they don't pay much attention to the mineral ones, particularly platinum group metals. So platinum group metals are things like you know platinum and silver and palladium and all these sort of things. Now, what do minerals do? Minerals work in your body kind of like transistor radios. So imagine this. When you've got, you know, gold and silver and platinum, each one of these metals, they vibrate at a different frequency range. Frequency. So what happens when you have these present, all of your cells can talk to each other properly so that when you're doing silver or gold, if you don't have them, what happens is you start missing certain key communications, your DNA works like a Tesla coil and broadcasts these signals. So imagine this is 101 country, this is 102 the rock station, this is you know 103, that's the you know blues station, whatever it happens to be. Those are examples. So without those, your body isn't able to communicate on a cell to cell level. And of course, the easiest way to get trace minerals, and just so you know, it's very difficult um, in North America to get all of the minerals and around the world each country or each area of the world has different mineral deposits so for example a tomato grown in California will have a different mineral content than a tomato gr grown in say the East Coast New York or something grown in say the Middle East would be different than something grown in Australia just due to the soil so what we've done is we've just put all of the minerals and trace minerals, we've got 78, 74 minerals, we just put them in a drop like this. And how it works, I'll, I'll use the finest drinking device there ever was made, called a mason jar. And what we do is we just do one drop for every 10 kilos. This allows us to completely control the dosage. Right, and as you can see, it's just nice and clear. You take a drink, and it's that easy. And usually, from when people start out on the program, they, they usually go maybe twice a day. Uh, if you're a hard training athlete, you can up your dosage, particularly with minerals. We have the vitamins, which is very, very similar. We'll talk a little bit more of those in another session. And that allows you to control the specific amount for your body. The one thing I would also add is Look at things like hair, to hair analysis because this is the best way to find out what minerals are present in your body and what minerals are not present and also to learn about the heavy metals um, which are kind of counteractive to your health and vibration. We'll talk about that and more about the toxins. So that's what our talk is today. This is minerals are the spark plugs. Getting these in there, make sure you get your trace minerals. There's over 70 of them. You want to get those in, in conjunction with your magnesium and calcium. And to find out specifics, do a hair analysis test to find out what you're missing or what you might require. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and we'll see you on the next one coming right up.